also been having national competitions. We just concluded the Governor WK Wrestling Championships. That's one the Federation used to, you know, you know, see wrestlers that are doing so well. That can actually be injected into the Commonwealth Games plans and a lot going down uh, as regards preparations. Let me welcome Tolu, all our Martinis, with us in the studio. Tolu, good to have you on sports tonight. Great to be back here again, Austin. Mm. Uh, it's been an amazing start to the year already. That's right. Uh, 2018. By the way, Happy New Year, bro. This yeah. Seeing you 2018. This is uh, the first time this year. Yeah, 2018. What are your expectations? Um, I, I expect to see Nigeria competing when we attend competitions, not just going there to make up the numbers. I expect to see Nigeria really challenging, you know, when we go out there. It is, it is time for us to not just make up the numbers, but to really put ourselves on the global map, let nations, let other people know that, hey, these guys are not joking anymore. We are mm. beginning to have um, interest in wrestling. Uh, we're beginning to have more names in table tennis. Mm. We're beginning to have something coming from the bobsleigh team. Right. It seems like a lot mm. is happening ac across mm. all sports in Nigeria. But aside from making up the numbers, we really should be putting pressure. If we are not winning yet, let's come close. Let, let it be a sign that yeah. in the next edition, That's right. no one can take Nigeria for granted anymore. I that agree. is the level we should get to. Hmm. And then when we are beginning to operate at that level, to bring in the private organization wouldn't be too difficult if they can see that the chances of pushing their brands out there hmm. to the end of the tournament is pretty high. I think they will want to be a part of it, one sure. way or the other. So sure. I think this year we should be expecting a more competitive Nigeria across all sporting fairs. And that's what the Nigeria Wrestling Federation are trying to do. Uh, be competitive, stay competitive, discover new talents. Uh, let's go to um, River State. Uh, let's go to Port Harcourt, uh, River State Capital. That's where uh, the technical director of the Nigeria Wrestling Federation, Damian Oike, uh, is chilling. Uh, good evening, technical director. Welcome to Sports Tonight. Good evening, my brother. You're welcome. Okay, Happy New Year to you and everyone at the Nigeria Wrestling Federation. It's the year for the Commonwealth Games, and I see that uh, you, you started preparations already. What are some of the programs in place? Uh, yeah, thank you very much, and Happy New Year to you also. Um, in preparation for the Commonwealth Games, uh, we, we are camping in Port Harcourt. Uh, the male team will be in Port Harcourt. The female team will be in... The arrangement is the fact, is the fact that we will also be having the African Championship coming on February 7 to 11. We have decided to marry the two, two camps together. And that is why we are able to have the two camps now, one in Yenegua for the females and the other one for male in Portacos. Mm. So but why did we... we... Okay, what, what, what's, the, what's the objective uh, for dividing the camps? What do you intend to achieve? Yes, what well, we actually divided the camp is we want to present 90 weight categories in African Championship. And when we put the training partners, we are having around 180 wrestlers only for African Championship. Then plus 32, we are going to put for the Commonwealth. So if we put all of them together at a place, it will be very, very jam-packed and it will not be meaningful. Mm. And that's why we have divided into camp so that the female will concentrate with the female coach and the male will concentrate with the male coach. Mm. Mm. So uh, that's for the African Championship. What are the plans for the 2018 Commonwealth Games? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Now. The 2018 Commonwealth Games and African Championship, the camp, uh, the camp is going on simultaneously. Because we don't have time. This is the third phase of the Commonwealth Games. But the African Championship is coming on 7 to 11 of February. Mm. Mm. So, t technical director, will you be able to get at the same results you want, knowing that the African Championships is not the same as the Commonwealth Games? When you run the camps simultaneously, will you be able to uh, monitor talents the way you should? No, we have a number of coaches. We have about nine coaches that will be in camp. The coaches for the Commonwealth are very, very separate. And the coaches for the African Championship is also separate. And the programs are not the same. The Commonwealth Championship involves the, the senior teams, the male and female. The African Championship involves the cadets, junior, and also the senior. 
Okay, before uh, you just, get me. I understand you. Just educate our viewers. Uh, how many how many wrestlers do you have in camp, and um, what were the criteria for picking those wrestlers? Okay, you know that recently we concluded the weekend competition. We weekend competition was, it was the last competition we have held, and all the champions, all those who could have came first and second in weekend will be in camp. The senior team also we have also determined who are the champions. And the way categories involved, the first and the, uh, the, and the second will also be in camp. You know, in wrestling, we have the training partners. So out of the 90 weight categories, we are having 180 wrestlers because each weight, uh, each weight category has a training partner. In the common world, we are going to have 32. Sounds good. Did Sounds you get Sounds good. Right? Yeah, sounds good. Uh, I must say thank you. Thank you so much, Damian Oike, uh, Tech Director, Nigeria Wrestling Federation. We'll continue to monitor your progress as we await the African Championship and the Commonwealth Games. Thank you. So that's it. Uh, so those of you asking for plans for 2018, some federations are already working. Updates coming from the Nigeria Wrestling Federation. 90. To lose 90 weight categories for the African Championship, they can make use of that, yeah. see the promise, and take that to the Commonwealth Games. Definitely. Um, yeah, he did try to explain to us that there's a difference in the in the preparation for both events, but mm -hmm. end of the day, what I think I see is, is wrestlers. <laughs> and, but they know better. Yeah. They know that there is a difference. Yeah. We probably wouldn't know because we just enjoy this sport. Mm. But hey, I think the Commonwealth Game is some, is a step higher. At least in terms of prestige, I think we, we, will, we will reckon more with medals from the Commonwealth Games than winners from the African uh, Af Af African Games. So really, I expect that the preparations for both events, yeah, I, I, we expect them to be top notch, mm. but with a little bit more mm. eye on the Commonwealth Games because that is a more prestigious right. without <coughs> being uh, <coughs> without belittling the African Games, of course. That mm. is a little bit more prestigious than what we have very locally. But 90 wrestlers, wow. 90 weight wow. categories wow. is a whole lot, and then mm. having to rely on. Uh, the past competition which they had last year uh, in River State, yeah, yeah uh, maybe in, in picking those that you know, it, it sounds good because yeah. it means I will pick the, those who are informed. That's right. However, mm -hmm. just to play the devil's advocate here, yeah. we may not have the very best guys also because one yeah. or two guys may not have been informed That's right. going into that tournament. Does but, it mean that those ones are left behind? Yeah, but yeah, the, possibly so. Yeah, I mean we know we celebrate current form. Yeah, but the federation before the uh, national championship came out say this will be part of selection process yeah. for yeah. the African Championships and of course um, the Commonwealth Games. Games. And you know Nigeria will be hosting, so yeah. the Federation will take anything to chance. Of course, and I, I think waiting to pick, picking the first and second from each category is just the best way to go about it, which means that we expect to have most of the best wrestlers in the game at the moment participating in the major tournament. So, yeah, I think end of the day, they, 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 we will have a good representation. We will have medal hopes. And uh, for I think the Wrestling Federation have really put one or two things going for, for the wrestlers in Nigeria lately. And few of them have gotten some international exposure, which yeah, is good. That's right. However, going forward, we can equally expect one or two medals mm -hmm. from the from the sport this year. That's right. So uh, it's, it's all boils down to hard work. They need to uh, show uh, that... Put in, they're putting a lot of efforts, and that's how they can expect medals at the African Championship and the Commonwealth Games post tonight on Channels TV. Let's go on this break. When we come back, we'll go to Washington, D.C. Sonny Young is standing by. Updates from the NBA. We'll talk about it. Don't go anywhere. Stay.